Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In our today's video, we are going to learn about Oracle database startup process. When you are planning to go for an interview, definitely there will be a question for the freshers. Basically, I am not asking that this kind of question will be based upon the experienced guy. But for the freshers, two to three years of guys, there will be a question based upon Oracle database startup process. So do you know like how the Oracle gets started and what is happening inside the Oracle database when the database command startup you are firing on it on the SQL prompt. So in this video we will try to understand the startup process of Oracle. Before that let me ask all of you that please do like subscribe and share this channel so that everyone get to know about the Oracle databases. So let us try to understand the Oracle database startup. In order to start the database, we normally what we are doing, we are just opening the command prompt. We are firing the command as SQL plus slash as sysdba. So this is the command that you are firing, and after that you will see the SQL prompt has been opened. Then we are using the command as startup. S T A R T U P. So this is the command that we are firing. And after that you can see there is something message and you will find that database has been startup and it will go into the open stage. So this is what we used to see on the screen itself. Now let me try to understand like what exactly is happening inside it. You know we can start the database in three stage. The first stage is no mount. Then second stage is mount and third stage which is the last stage again it's a open stage. So these are the three stages through which the database will get start. Now when I'm saying that the database is in no mount stage first of all the database will try to find out the parameter file. Here it will try to find out parameter file. So do you know that we have two kind of parameter file? again it's a sp file and then we have p file here right the location of sp file and p file again that is going inside the oracle home slash dbs there you will find the init file which is again p file and then you will find the sp file there are two kind of parameter file we have in the oracle databases sp file is our binary file and p file is our text file I have a separate video based upon this parameter file so we can get these details from here itself from the other video. So as I said earlier sp file is your binary file so definitely first of all it will try to find this sp file because this is again that is understandable by the oracle so first of all it will try to find out the sp file if the sp file is not available then it will go for the p file. Again. To start the database in no mount stage or if you want to start the database in p file that is in our hand we have the control if you want to start the database in p file also that is fine you can do that okay so let's come back and go with this flow itself so when i'm saying that startup so first of all the database will go into the no mount stage it will find out the parameter file by default it will start with the sp file next time it will go into the mount stage which is again a second stage for the oracle database startup what is the information that it will collect from the parameter file that is again the important things it will collect the information related to your sga so this parameter file where you will define about the memory that needs to be allocated to the database through which the database will go and start it because you know SGA is really important con concept in the Oracle database and it is again the part of your memory without this memory the database cannot be started so so first of all the SGA will be allocated and this SGA information will be taken it from the parameter file now once we get the parameter file it will take the SGA along with that it will also take the information of your control file so second part is SGA and then control file these are all information it will take it from your parameter file 
parameter file so once it get the location of your control file the database will go and check whether the control file is there in that location if it is available then it will go into the mount state so here it will get the control file location okay now this is the last stage which is again an open stage in the no mount and mount stage your database will not be accessible by the users your database will be accessible in the open stage only and okay. the third part which i was talking about is the open stage where from control file it will take the information of your data file so control file have the information about your data files okay so this is again a really important concept that you need to understand that when we are talking about oracle database startup so once the data file are located successfully then your database will go into the open stage so if someone is asking that how the database gets started you can say that your database will get started with the no mount mount and at last it will get started in the open stage only okay so in each stage there is the importance of your files like your parameter files are there which is important in no mount stage control file is important in mount stage and once the data files are ready then you will go into the open stage because data files is only having the actual data and once we have a data it is accessible by the number of users so this is all about the oracle database starter if you have any queries you can just put it into the comment section and if you want me to train you definitely you can contact me on my whatsapp number or on my email id you can get all the details in the description section as well as here itself thank you so much for watching this video please do like subscribe and share this channel